This podcast is brought to you in part by PNP Games, your online source for everything video games. Visit their website at pnpgames.com or at one of their three retail locations in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Coin goes, mushroom goes, one up goes, fire flower goes, Goomba goes, Trooper goes, and Mario says, Toad says yeah, Bowser growls, and Yoshi goes, ow, 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 ow. but there's one sound that no one knows. <laughs> all right everybody uh, welcome to the nintendo pulse podcast <laughs> this is episode number 65 as always i'm your host lloyd hannison and joining me is uh as always steven munn steven how are you doing i am dr who tastic well oh, are you are you bowser who tastic i guess i could be <laughs> This is a this is a great parody uh, from Elvis or y- Yelvis the Fox uh, called the Piranha Plant by the String Player Gamer. Uh, I'll post a link to it in the show notes because they actually have uh, this song available on iTunes if you can believe it. I might actually buy it just so we can use it as our new theme song. I'll have to contact them to see if that's okay because this is just brilliant and you can see the video. The video is great. Oh, I saw that today and I just started laughing because it's incredibly hilarious. Yeah, it's good work. Especially him um, reading to his daughter going, (laughs) it's just so hilarious. Anyway, this is the Nintendo Pulse podcast. Oh, I thought I paused it. Now I've paused it. <clears throat> and uh, as I said, I'm your host, Lloyd Hannison. Joining me, Stephen Munn, and we're watching awesome parody videos. Uh, Nintendo Pulse is, of course, your weekly source for Nintendo news, reviews, and uh, our thoughts. Um, we, haven't done a sh- uh, we haven't done a show for a while um, <laughs> because of Extra Life. Um, I did the Extra Life Gaming Marathon last weekend. Um, and if you're not familiar, uh, if you haven't listened to any of the shows where we talked about it, it was 25 hours of gaming. I partnered with the Inside Disney Infinity podcast team, and we did 25 hours of Disney Infinity. One game, Stephen. How do you think that went for me? I think it was probably <clears throat> exhausting for you. Um, it but was. considering it's Disney Infinity, you probably enjoyed it a great deal anyway. I, I actually had fun. Fun and I played it the next day, so it didn't uh, it, it didn't turn me off the game. Um, but yeah, we went from 3 p.m. on Saturday to 3 p.m. on Sunday. It was 25 hours because of the uh, time change. And um, starting at three in the afternoon was a really bad idea. We should have done first thing in the morning. But one of the people on the team is in Australia, so our eight in the morning is his like 6 a.m. or something. Or no, that that's not right. It would be like closer to midnight i guess about a 12 hour difference yeah so he would be um so he would be um up all day and then start at night and then go uh, all the way to um to like in the morning and then into the night again so he'd be up for actually longer unless he slept all day but uh yeah it was fun um so four of us live stream 24 hours on Twitch, um, if you came by this the channel during any time, you would have saw it. Uh, I managed to raise about four hundred dollars for my charity. We raised about seventeen hundred dollars as a team, so we did not too bad. Foreman joined the the chat room. Hey, Foreman, how's it going? Um, but yeah, so uh, that's why there was no show last week because I, uh, well, besides it was Halloween um, and uh, prep for for the show. So um, the the Thursday and Friday shows of last week got canceled because of extra life. So hopefully you guys uh, checked it out. If not, um, I'm sure uh, Will over at the Inside Disney Infinity podcast, he's going to be stitching together a video with excerpts of our 25 hour video marathon 
stupidness. Um, I'm sure there's going to be lots of great stuff from like three in the morning when we were all really tired. And then five in the morning after I drank a Red Bull, like I shotgun to Red Bull and I got really, really giddy for a couple hours. And it was fun again, really, really fun. And then it got really quiet for a couple hours. I think we said like two words in a whole hour. So that would have been really, really riveting television. Um, and then uh, more Red Bull, more caffeine um, and more fun. It was, uh, it was a really good time. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, checked it out. If not, um, just don't worry. Shows like this will continue as normal um, from here on out um, up until about the holidays. We'll take a break for Christmas. All right, Stephen, uh, let's get into the show. Uh, Stephen, what have you been playing? I have continued to play Animal Crossing New Leaf. Um, I got one visit from Gracie <laughs> and I passed that. <laughs> only only uh, one. Well, it was my second visit from her. The first one was about a month before that. Sure. And uh, I failed that one. And Well, I didn't fail it, but I wasn't able to pass it because uh, I didn't have the clothes I needed. And then I had to wait a month for her to show up again. And then uh, I passed that one. And now it's been about a week and a half since that. So I guess maybe I'm going to have to wait a month between visits, which means it's going to take a good half a year before I get to upgrade my shop. But uh, we'll see what happens with that. Um, cool. Uh, I, I go in there every day. Uh, I buy everything in the shops that I don't have in my catalog already and, um, you know, do whatever. Like, for example, Gulliver was in my town again today and he was talking about Singapore, which was an easy one. Um, also, Wind Waker HD. Uh, I'm at the same place in the game that I was last time we talked about it on the show, okay. which is just running around at like the end game section just picking up all the, you know, pieces of heart and the, you know, the giant rubies and everything like and, that, just to try and pick up all the chests and things. Yeah, all that yeah. fun stuff. Uh, we fit you that came out um, a couple days ago, I think. So yeah. I downloaded that and I gave that a try because I still have my balance board. Nice. Needed new batteries, of course. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that still works, but I can't figure out how to delete a pet because last time I played We Fit. Plus, um, and it, it automatically imported all that data, which was cool. Mm -hmm. um, I had a, a dog, uh, <laughs> and there does not appear to be any way to delete the dog oh. now that it imported the data over. I, I can't figure out how to do it. Weird. I never played Wii Fit Plus, so I didn't know anything about the pets. Yeah, you were able to, like, weigh your dog and stuff. So, <laughs> uh, And Amazon Instant Video on the Wii U. I started using that because I was, I was using it on my PS3 and my PS3 abruptly died. Um, I was watching Doctor Who on there and then uh, I had to send my PS3 off for repair so I started using Amazon Video on my Wii U instead. Uh, I was using it on the PS3 because I figured it would work better on there because uh, it's a wired internet connection. Yep. Um, but even with wireless, at least over Fios, like I have, the Wii U version works better. Um, it still occasionally just fails and drops out of the video and I have to hit resume. Uh, but, you know, the, the picture quality is good. It's HD. Uh, and uh, it doesn't take that long to queue up the video. And almost everything is there free since I have Amazon Prime. So it was working pretty well until my box set arrived. Uh, and that's pretty much all I've been doing. Oh, I picked up uh, Super <coughs> Castlevania 4 for Virtual Console. Nice. Wii U. Um, when I did had that come it. out? Uh, Halloween. Oh, really? I didn't even hear that. I must have missed yeah. that with uh, all the Halloween craziness that was going on. Sure. Did you I dress up this year, by the, the way? Virtual console. Uh, no, part of my costume didn't uh, didn't come, so I wasn't uh, able to. Uh, bummer. Didn't come in time. I wasn't able to, to dress up. Bummer. 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 Cool. Uh, but it's a Doctor Who costume, and I can wear it to the to the to the show. I'm going to go see the uh, Day of the Doctor 50th anniversary episode in the theater. Nice. Uh, it's playing near me, so I'll just wear my Doctor Who costume to the movie. Nice. Cosplay. Nice. Cosplay. Yep. Fun, fun, fun. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Um, I guess we'll talk about what I've been playing. I guess mm -hmm. that, that is how the show goes. So I should, it is. I should follow. Now it's your turn. I should follow the, the, the talking orders and order the talkings. Um, okay. So I've been playing some stuff as well. Um, I, too, uh, just checked out We, we Fit You, um, but today... Um, actually, I just downloaded it and uh, and turned it on, and I did it because I got one of these. I got one of the uh, the We Fit You pedometers. Uh, found one in stores, and I thought, you know what? 
let's track let's track all my steps. You can see I, I'm goateed even on my little pedometer, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, it's weird because it, it uploads your me and uploads all the information from from your profile there. So you can Do you get to like Tamagotchi that like you feed the little Lloyd on there. And <laughs> no, I don't want to make don't myself. Him, I don't want to make myself fatter because um, it already <laughs> says I'm obese. Um, oh, no, no, it doesn't say I'm obese. What's what's the what's above fit? There's the next I one. I think overweight overweight. Yeah. So it says I'm overweight, which is ridiculous. But whatever. I guess I'm I'm wider than I should be for my height. You're Canadian size. Yeah, I'm I, I I'm actually really skinny, um, but for some reason it says I'm I'm overweight, so I don't understand that. It also says that it's currently 26 degrees Celsius right now, which is oh, interesting because I don't think that's even possible because I would be dying here. So yeah. maybe it's because it was like on my belt and maybe it's get, taking body heat or something. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, it's a cool little uh, little device. I'm gonna check it out for a little while. I'm gonna try to do the We Fit You thing longer than I did the Wii Fit thing, which was about about like a week and a half. And then I was like, yeah, Kara, Kara here, play this game. This is for you. Um, you'd enjoy it because you like aerobics and yoga. Um, but I'm going to I'm gonna try this. Check it out. Try doing it for a little bit and, and see what happens. But I picked up the pedometer because it was 20 bucks. And it's like, why not? If, if it's as good as a Fitbit, I don't have to spend the $80 I was going to spend to get one of those Fitbit bracelets to see what my exercise level is. So... Uh, did that. That was pretty cool. Um, today, uh, Wii Sports Club came out, uh, which is the free download, which then allows you to um, buy individual Wii Sports games. Um, of course, only bowling and tennis are out. Um, so I tr- checked that out. Um, when you download it, you get a 24 hour um, demo. I don't know if it's a 24 hour demo, just like the Wii Fit U one, which is you get 31 days of we fit you access and that's not like from if you download it on november 7th you get to like december 7th it's 31 times of playing it that you get so i wonder if the um if the the, the we sports club is 24 hours of gameplay which could be like a couple weeks of me playing an hour here an hour there so hmm. i'm going to check that out um i'm going to end up buying them anyway um um oh so it's four minutes in the chat room says it's 24 hours from the first boot which is it disappointing but makes sense because you can also you can buy a uh 24 hour pass for each game for two dollars or you can buy the game right out for 9.99 i'll end up buying the games because the only two games from wii sports that i really liked were bowling and tennis so it made sense that these were uh these are put out so i'll probably have more to say about that in the weeks that come um been playing pokemon a little bit as well which is good um let's see what else uh lego marvel superheroes i checked that one out didn't get to play as much as it um as i would liked i had to return it um it is essentially like a, a gta kind of open world lego game so similar to lego city undercover um but you play with marvel characters and it is really really fun um this is one i'm probably going to pick up over the holidays to play with the kids um it it was a heck of a lot of fun for uh, for us so um take that as you will if you like lego games if you liked lego city undercover um and you like marvel you'll definitely like this one and what else um i picked up skylander swap force finally even though i think it was on this show i said i'm, I'm not going to pick it up i'm going to wait and maybe pick it up when it's on sale well that didn't last too long um <laughs> so i picked it up on the ps3 and i've been playing that with the kids so that's been kind of my life um, of gameplay for the last little while. Not too much surprising or interesting. Although Skylar Swap Force is actually really good. It's way better than Giants. Um, it's done by Vicarious Visions. It's a real game. You can jump. Um, there's actual <laughs> things to do in the levels. It's not just like walk from point A, kill some things, get to point B, turn around, go down this other aisle, kill some more things. There's actual things to do, hidden paths to find. Um, it's actually really good. I just don't want to spend another $12,000 on figures. So I'm going to be very uh, careful on which figures I buy this time. I'm not just going to buy them all just to have them all because that's ridiculous. And my kids don't even want them anyway, which is a, a real huge bonus for me. All right, man. What do you say we get into the rest of the show? Sure. Why not? So notable releases, um, Wii Sports Club and Wii Fit U came out this week for digital download on your Wii U. You can just go to the eShop and download them they're free to try so you might as well check them out 
Um, we Fit You is about three and a half gigs to download. Uh, we Sports Club was like 50 meg plus a couple hundred meg patch that came down after. So it's fairly small uh, to download um, that one. Yeah, we Fit You, on the other hand, is a little bit bigger. So uh, depending on the space you have on your Wii U, you may or may not be able to download that. Uh, now your, your Wii U will <clears throat> still play your Wii Sports disc from your Wii without issue, right? Correct. It they will. haven't disabled that? No. Well, not that I've seen. I haven't tried it, but it, it worked ah. before. I know people were, were doing that once upon a time. Um, what else? Super Castlevania 4 came to the Wii U Virtual Console, like you said, Stephen. Mm-hmm. And of course, I have it a did. phone down here. It came out on Halloween. Which is awesome. Um, I never have phones in the basement, so this is the first time that I have it down here. And of course, the phone rings. Like <laughs> I didn't even it hear up. it. Uh, my wife was quick to turn it off. That's cool. Um, and Sonic Lost World came out on the 3DS and the Wii U. Um, any interest in that, Stephen? No. You know, I was interested in the uh, in the Wii U version, uh, especially when I saw that it was coming out at a $50 price point because it was looking really good, and a lot of the previews were saying it was good. Mm-hmm. But as I got closer to launch, reviews started coming out, and they were saying that the... You know, that the controls are broken sure. and, you know, all these kinds of problems that people were saying with it. And I was like, whoa, whoa, hit the brakes <laughs> on that. And canceled there, my pre-order for Sonic Lost World for Wii U. Well, I saw a lot of different kind of reviews. Um, yeah. yeah. I, I saw the fact, I saw some conflicting ones. About yeah. That. Like I saw this is the best Sonic game in years, um, obviously from well, a Sonic fan. Strange. <laughs> what's that i said well maybe that doesn't say much yeah. but i really liked sonic colors, sonic <laughs> colors really yeah exactly um so yeah you had that uh, and then you had ones that were like two out of ten you had an eight out of ten it's uh it's kind of been all over the place uh, i wish uh, tony um showed up because i know he's been playing it we could ask him in the chat room how it is um although yeah. he has said a million things about it on twitter i just tend to tune out sonic tweets so i i didn't really read too many of them so <laughs> sorry tony if you're listening in at home um, so yeah, Sonic Lost World came out as well. Um, of course, there's the Batman <laughs> game that came out as well. Uh, Batman. Oh yeah, I heard bad things about that too. <laughs> yeah, Black Batman Gate. Arkham Origins Blackgate. Um, it wasn't given out for review um, to any um, any outlets. Neither of the Batman games were. Um, just like Injustice wasn't. So don't. It's it's not necessarily a bad game just because of that. Um, but a lot of people didn't really have a chance to kind of read about the game before buying it. Um, and I'm still kind of waiting for um, the, the, I don't know, the bulk of the reviews to come out before I decide whether I want to pick up the 3DS version. I, I know I want to get the console version. I'm not sure which console version I'm going to get. But I was kind of on the fence about the 3DS version. So I'm going to read a couple more reviews and 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 see myself whether that is something I'm going to want to play. Yeah, I was I was definitely interested <clears throat> in, the, in the 3DS uh, version. The, uh, Metroidvania. I mean, yeah, I like those yeah, kinds I like of games. The team behind it was re- is really good, and yeah. but uh, I saw, you know, at least one game reviewer who I really trust on Twitter was saying, "Wow, this game is not at all yeah. the kind of quality that it, you know, that we were hoping for, or that yeah. any any of us really wanted it to be." And I was like, "Uh oh, <laughs> that's too bad. So, that's too bad." Yeah. But uh, it happens. So what are you gonna do? Um, yeah. So that's about it for notable releases. Uh, it's gonna be like release a thon for the next little while like mario comes out in a couple of weeks there's a pile of games coming out you have the new consoles coming out in the middle of this month uh what is the date it's the seventh so in, in like a, a week um you're gonna have the uh, ps4 is gonna be out a couple of weeks after that it's gonna be the xbox one you're gonna have nintendo releasing all sorts of games uh around all of the big console releases there it's gonna be Modern interesting 3D world yeah, that's on the twenty second, right? I think that's when somewhere the Xbox around there. One yeah, right around out. where the one, where the Xbox One is releasing. So there's going to be a lot of stuff. Um, I'm I'm really excited about Mario World. Uh, they've been posting a lot of videos online, um, yeah. showing all the stuff, and it looks really, really damn good. So oh yeah, yeah, I've got that pre ordered. I will definitely be picking it up on uh, yeah. probably on day one uh, to play with the kids because they are. They love the cats. They love the cat suits. That's the big hit in the house is every time the cat suit comes on, they giggle. So, Yeah, Julie's excited about that too. It's going to be fun. Plus, my daughter wants to play as Peach. Mm-hmm. That's her one th- her one want in life is to play another Peach game. So that's going to be really great for her. All right, well, let's, uh, let's move on. Uh, let's get into the news. I'm going to start off with uh, the new Club Nintendo downloadable titles uh, came out um, this week. I think on the, oh, yeah, yeah. a couple days ago, as they do every month. And there's actually 
all four of the games are are good games. They're all worthy downloads. So on the 3DS, you have Metroid. Um, so the Metroid remake that came out, I guess, because it's, it's from 1986. Or is this maybe the first one? This The original. It looks like the original. Um, so that is out there. And you have Dylan's Rolling yep. Western. It's the original NES Metroid. So the original NES Metroid for 150 coins and uh, Dylan's Rolling Western for 200 coins, a game that I've wanted for a while but never ended up buying. So I downloaded mm-hmm. this one for 200 coins. I'll have to dig into that one soon. Um, yep. it, it's gotten some really great reviews. People really like it. So if you're looking for a fun game to play on your 3DS and you have 200 coins, you might want to check that one out. On your Wii, you have The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Virtual Console release and Art Style Cubello. Um, I loved both of them. Uh, Cubello was a really great game when it first came out. Um, the only problem is this is a Wii release, not a Wii U release, and I don't want right. to play in the sub menu. So um, hopefully, at one point, Club Nintendo will switch over to Wii U downloads, not the Wii downloads that you have to go into the sub menu gimped version of your Wii to then play that and then exit out. So, but anyway, four great games, uh, 150 coins for all of them except for Dylan's Rolling Western. So a good month for downloadable Nintendo titles for free. Um, using yeah, your Zelda coins. Link to the Past is pretty timely, but they should release that on the damn Wii U. Yeah, this might be a, a cheap way for people to get it. If they're trying to get it for the Wii U, you mm-hmm. could basically download this one for free and then just pay the $1.50 or whatever that upgrade fee is when they come out with the Wii U version of, of a virtual console title. Yeah, might be a, true. a way to go about it to, uh, to re- I guess, reduce the cost of the eventual virtual console release on the Wii U. Mm-hmm. Sure. If you have 150 coins to spare, that is. All right, uh, moving on. Um, a couple other um, just quick items. The first one is Pikmin um, just got updated this week with another patch and another downloadable map pack. Um, have you played any of these downloadable packs, Stephen? The first I one that was free. No. Um, I I've been. Yeah, I've been wanting to to pick up Pikmin. Like I I I basically borrowed it and then returned it when I was done. Um, my son the other day looked at me. He's like, "Daddy," I'm like, "Yes, Nick." I miss Pikmin. I wonder how they're doing. I really miss the Pikmin. Aww. I'm like, seriously? He's like, yeah, it was a fun game. I really miss them. I'm like, damn it. I guess I have to go buy Pikmin so he can play it again because he really dug it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to uh, to picking this up. Um, I think the the DLC pack, I think it's two bucks. Um, I can't find the new story right off the top of my head, um, but I believe it's something like that. So if you have Pikmin and you want more Pikmin, all the Pikmins, uh, you can download the latest downloadable <laughs> map pack for um, whatever insert price here is. Uh, also, it was announced this week that, or it was leaked this week, I guess, uh, that the Zelda limited edition 3DS XL is coming to North America, like everyone knew Yay. it would. Um, but it is being sold at Best Buy and GameStop in the U.S., and it's 220 bucks. So I guess it comes with the game. It's not just the console uh, itself. I guess it comes with the, the new Zelda game. It does. It comes with a download code for the new Zelda Link Between Worlds. Cool. So if you were wanting it, which I really want it, I so want it, um, but I mm-hmm. just got my 3DS XL, and I just bought one for my daughter. I... I don't think my wife would uh, like me coming home with another mini console, but uh, I kind of. Really I pre-ordered from Best Buy. I kind of think I'm going to end up with one on release day just by accident because that kind of happens sometimes. It is a hot console. They yeah. have all the unboxing <clears throat> videos and stuff that came out today. It looks really good. IGN has one. Destructoid has one. Kara's right there in the room with you, isn't she? No, she's not. But she might be listening no, she to the stream. Okay. Okay. Hi, Kara. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> now you know my secret tricks. Um, but, but yeah, no, it, it looks really good. Your secret tricks. You've been married a while. Yeah, I think she she does. Um, she knows all my tricks. But um, yeah, Zelda Limited Edition 3DS coming to North America like you knew it was. But at least this is final confirmation. And people yes. could stop buying the vinyl stickers off of Etsy that I saw going around. So you could turn your blue or black or red or whatever color 3DS you have <laughs> into a almost Zelda Limited limited edition one by buying my limited edition castlevania oh wow they only released one of those how did you find it yeah it's one out of one (laughs) but uh but yeah um looks really cool i can't wait to uh to to see those in person they look really really great uh also it was announced this week that marth 
is being added to Super Smash Brothers. Of course he is. Why wouldn't he be? Sure. Um, I th- the slow release that Nintendo is doing is just so annoying. It's like here's a new character that you knew was coming already because he's been in other games and half the assets were done for us and we have problems making 3D assets for 1080p so we're just gonna upscale all the stuff that we have already. Big news. Yeah, it's so um, 2008. This <clears throat> trickle of data. It's yeah, really I mean, kinda, I kind of dig. Yeah, the, yawn. Form is right. I I kind of dig the screenshots they post every day. Like it's it's kind of neat to see those in my in my news feed every day. Just yeah, a new Smash yeah, Brothers because they're always like kind of funny or whatever um yeah it's just i don't know i let us know all the characters every single smash brothers character that has already been in the game let us know and then tease us with the exclusives that are new to this game the new ones yeah, or haven't been in smash brothers before or who <coughs> weren't in the last one but are coming back or totally totally like it's or Where's donkey kong jr for god's sake yeah or here's <laughs> What's a new game? Here's the wonderful 101 dude, and he can do all this wonderful 101 power stuff. Oh, there won't be. No. There won't be a wonderful 101 character. They're not established enough. They're there, too new. There's not going to be another wonderful 101 game with how well it sold, unfortunately. <laughs> Yikes. No, you never know. They kept making Metroid Prime games for some reason. <laughs> they, were, they were good. I know you didn't do Oh, they're them. absolutely good. They're my favorite games okay. on the platform. Okay, good. They didn't sell. I was so I scared there. Was, my favorite game of all time. We were gonna have we we're gonna have words, Stephen. Um, oh no! But it's uh, just the sales, just the sales. Yeah, I bought every one of them at launch. They were really good. All right, so uh, yeah, Marth, coming to Smash Brothers. If you didn't guess that already, um, mm-hmm. I'm sure there'll be other. Um, maybe Mr. Game and Watch. That'll be the next big surprise announcement um, yeah. to get us all non excited. Um, did they announce? Did they announce that Link isn't it yet? Or how about Mario? Yeah, I, they announced I, Mario. Would, would they really? Would they really put Mario in that game? I don't know. I, I'm kind of. Uh, I'm kind of concerned. They haven't announced him yet. No, actually, they have. But they announced Luigi at last. <clears throat> we were all worried about that. <laughs> yeah, <It's> Foreman <laughs> in the chat room says it's it's now Mister Watch and Game to make it different. Da, he's inverse. There you go. That would be great. Yeah, he's um, uh, they he's white with black outlines. Now. Yeah, that would be great. It would be. Uh, it would just be it would be the mirror image. It would be something new and fancy. Yeah, more Wii Fit characters. The little balance board that goes right, right, right. My uh, my little pedometer. That, that could be a character. It just like just does things and makes stupid faces and then bounces off people and falls on the ground and gets steps on. Be the worst character ever, but uh, it could make this sound. Oh, I it was too cl- too qu- wasn't quick enough. I didn't bring it here. Every time you turn it on, it makes a bloop, which is really annoying because I don't want people to know I have a little thing attached to me ever because it's embarrassing. <laughs> um, and if I ex- actually turn it on in my chair, it's going to go, bloop. I'll be like, what's that? Uh, nothing. I didn't hear a thing. I heard nothing. Um, that's exactly what it's going to be like. All right, moving on. Um, this is an interesting story that has come up um, for Pokemon, the Pokemon peoples um, that do a lot of the wonder trade. I- I've been doing it every once in a while. Like if I catch... Uh, Pokemon that I didn't really want or I have duplicates of I put them on the the wonder trade which basically you throw a random Pokemon into the ether and then it just does a random trade and you get one back um, I've gotten some really good Pokemon like I got a Japanese ditto the other day which is just like oh that's cool that's not one I could catch myself and ditto is really good if you're going to be breeding eggs which I'll never do but um, that that is uh, just a cool one to have um, most of them have just been like level one to three other random characters that people are just throwing out to try to get some cool things um but this came out um i I read the article today this article actually came out a little while ago um people have somehow hacked uh their 3ds's to allow them to use hacked um characters in pokemon x it's supposed to have a lot of protections where it wouldn't wouldn't allow um like generated pokemon or hacked pokemon it would it would just not allow them at all but apparently people have found a way to um, either alter their their firmware or alter the game or or do something, and apparently some people are putting these up on the Wonder Trade system. And if you get one, um, they basically come down from Wonder Trade as a bad egg. Uh, they're basically an, an item that is a bad egg, which you can no longer do anything with. You can't delete it. You can't remove it. You can't do anything. And if you've done a lot of Wonder Trades and you have if you run out of room in all of the different boxes that you have in Pokemon, it'll actually start overwriting your real Pokemon with oh, these no. bad characters. So this could be a huge problem. Um, I know that 
if something like this becomes widespread, Nintendo is going to jump in, put a fix out, come up with a patch. They've already come up with the one patch because of the save game glitch. But this seems to be really bad. I'm yeah. kind of not wanting to do a wonder trade just in case something like this happens. Not that I really care about any of the Pokemon I'm not fighting with because I'm not going to collect in this game. But um, yeah, this is this is pretty, uh, pretty crazy. So uh, just kind of a word of warning. I'll post a link to the article that you can read. Um, but that's pretty scary for people that do a lot of Pokemon stuff. If you're like a huge Poke fan and you want to have you want to catch them all and you want to do all this stuff, this could really ruin your day. So uh, just a word of warning for you guys out there. Um, and Foreman says, yeah, they'll swap note the Wonder Trade service. That is timely because, Stephen, why don't you tell us about, next story. Uh, why don't you tell us about uh, swap note? I, I summarize this one in the, in the notes by saying, Spot Pass abruptly disabled worldwide for swap note. When sexual predators discovered connecting with kids on internet forums, Nikki appeals for calm on her Tumblr. <laughs> uh, we got this message uh, in our notifications on our 3DSs. If you're internet connected, it says, thank you for your support. Nintendo has learned that some consumers, including minors, have been exchanging their friend codes on internet bulletin boards and then using Swapnote, known as Nintendo Letterbox in other regions, right. to exchange offensive material. Nintendo has been investigating ways of preventing this and determined it is best to stop the spot pass feature of Swapnote because it allows direct exchange of photos and was actively misused. <laughs> Nintendo always wants to provide a positive experience for all consumers and limit the risk of any inappropriate activity or misuse of a service. We feel it is important on this occasion to take this action. We are very sorry for any inconvenience to the many consumers who have been using the service responsibly. However, this decision was made considering the point that many miners also use this feature of swap note. Thank you for your understanding. Nintendo will continue to work to ensure more consumers are aware of our parental control features, which allow parents to manage their children's experience on our systems. For more information, please visit here or select the Internet Browser button below. And it says the service stop date was Thursday, October 31st, 2013 at 7 p.m. Pacific time. And it is just the Spot Pass feature yep. that was disabled. Which Spot Pass is the send stuff to your friends that live far away from you. Not, anything over the internet yeah yeah not the walk by someone and, and get a random a note sent to you um that is horrible it's horrible yes. that it was misused in that way um but it's also horrible that nintendo would just shut down the service yeah. um i don't i don't really know what to to say here i'm a parent but i supervise my kids when they play video yeah. games uh, and not to say that the parents of these kids that were uh, abused didn't supervise them, but there's ways around this as um, as a parent. You can put locks on the console. You can turn everything up, um, turn th- everything off, rather. Um, you can do lots of things that way um, as a parent to kind of protect your children yourself without having to have the, um, uh, uh, the, the console owner uh, do the protecting for you. And I kind of wish Nintendo put out the message more about that than trying to do all of the protecting themselves. Because we Now, does your kid use <clears throat> use this feature? No. Okay. No. Cuz mine does. Yeah, I I I've turned all the internet off on her yeah. 3DS. I don't she doesn't connect to the internet at all. So, um, I um I had to jump through so many hoops with Nintendo in order to make it so that she could get online to use this feature in swap note really that there is no excuse in my mind for any parents to claim that they that they didn't know that their kids were doing this if your kid is a minor you have to i had to actually send uh they had to actually send something to me i had to sign it and email it back to them and they refused it. They, they, they denied, they declined my signature. And they said, no, they would not let my daughter go online. Wow. And then I had to call Nintendo and I had to tell them, what the hell are you talking about? I want my daughter to be able to use this feature. So it's like, it's ridiculous how difficult they made, they made it for me just to get her online. You right. Know? I mean, if you don't lie about your age when you set up the profile to begin with. I suppose that's the case. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, I mean, it's the protections are there. People aren't using them, and then it's like, well, 
this bad, horrible thing happened and I'm not trying to belittle what happened because that is horrible. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. But it's it's just it's kind of sad that a service that a lot of people loved gets shut down because of a couple um, abuses. It would be like if Gmail shut down their email system because there was a, a couple things that were sent nasty through the email. Um, yeah. Of course, Nintendo isn't Google and Google isn't Nintendo. But sure, sure. I, I just wish that people would be smarter um, around the internet with their kids but unfortunately yeah. they're not and you hear things like this happen all the time and it just sure. makes me shake my head <clears throat> now nintendo can just pull the photo feature out of swap known and if i recall correctly it was actually added in at one point wasn't it was it? it was added in recently um for the longest time you couldn't do it um they did a patch that had sound so you could add sound and then they did a patch that added photo and first thing I thought, it's like, okay, there's going to be a bunch of kids emailing or or messaging pictures of their butts to their friends because it's going to be hilarious for them. Um, and I'm sure that and worse happened, apparently, yeah. if you read the article. So just pull that out, pull the audio, pull any way to, 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 to do anything that would basically expose yourself to someone else on, on that service. Yeah. Um, and I mean, it's not going to, it's not going to stop people from putting an email address on a message and sending it to someone else, but you can't, you can't stop everything from happening. Um, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. Nice Foreman. <laughs> yeah. And I still remember Foreman's first swap note to me when we, when, when I got my 3ds and he had his, I can only uh, imagine. Yeah. It was a, it was a drawing. Yeah. He I'm... said, let me be the first to send you <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, a specific drawing that is a the first thing drawing. to be done on any he, online drawing thing. And then he drew that and he and he sent it to me. <laughs> of course he I did. Was, I was grateful. Yeah. I was absolutely grateful. He, he uh, and I've saved it. I saved it always. Nice. And and that's see that's the other thing <clears throat> is the swap note swap note still works. Mm -hmm. There's no internet sending or receiving. Um I assume <laughs> that Nintendo is going to patch the software taking out the photo feature. Yeah. And then, you know, it'll be back on again i hope so um yes it was a teddy bear saying hello world claims foreman <laughs> that's exactly um, what it was that's what i was gonna sure. say sure that's why i couldn't say what it was uh <laughs> on this on this family show <laughs> uh, <laughs> um you know and you can still go into the into the app and you know look at all your old stuff you know it's all still there everything that's already there works you just can't receive new messages over the internet Right. So you can still pass messages to people on your friends list as long as you do a street pass tag with them. Um, <laughs> like that happens. <laughs> so I don't think that's ever happened, actually. Mm. Ever. In yeah, the world. I, I, ever. I had that turned on initially and I had to turn that feature off because it was extremely buggy. Oh, okay. It would be it would queue up a message to send via swap note uh, via via uh, street pass. And then it would not be able to successfully send it. And then it would error out and it would continually tell me that I had a message to receive and it would try and receive it. And it would say, oh, you already have this message. Lovely. So that would be really annoying. Yeah. So I had to turn that feature off. So now there's <laughs> nothing. that works. Oh, lovely. Oh, Nintendo. Yeah. Mm. All right. So, yeah, spot pass is disabled. Hopefully it'll come back one day, yeah. um, but maybe not. Maybe it'll never come. Yeah, out. I mean they're supposed to be launching Meverse on uh, sure on here, and and you know the the reason that Meverse is not going to go away is because it's moderated. Mm -hmm. So if they launch Meverse for 3ds, maybe this is okay. They're like, well, okay, well we'll disable uh, spot pass on this when Meverse is ready for the 3ds's. We'll just roll that out, and that'll replace this. People will be able to draw pictures sure. and send them to each other. Sure, and we'll have moderators looking at it all, so it'll be okay. Which makes sense. That's probably what they're planning to do. Yeah, um, it makes sense. Uh, the The Meverse update is apparently, um, if you believe the rumors online, it was supposed to be in November, and this was like way back in the summer. They were saying that it's it's yeah. scheduled for November. So we'll see if that plays out or if it's going to be in December or, or early next year. But it looks like that, or supposedly, that is what people are saying is going to happen, and it's it's really quite. Um, quite close um so yeah this makes total sense it's like oh we we're gonna do this anyway so might as well just pull this now so we don't get in any more media hot water and then we'll just come out with the meverse um shortly or maybe we'll push that that release date up sooner just to make everybody happy or whatever yes it would be good so yeah um uh, spot pass uh 
let's move on. Uh, last but not least, um, Disney Infinity has just announced that they've pushed over a million starter packs worldwide. Uh, Disney actually, um, e- even more than that, um, they've actually made money, which is strange because they never make money in the gaming section. Um, they, um, in, in the press release they sent out, Disney's gaming business saw revenue, revenues jump 93% to $396 million for the final quarter in, of, in this fiscal year. Um, the three months ended September 28th. Uh, it also uh, turned an operating profit of $16 million for the quarter, as opposed to a $76 million loss uh, f- to, for the same quarter last year. Um, so they're basically saying that Disney Infinity saved their gaming uh, department <laughs> because that's the only reason. That's like the first and only time they've ever made money. And uh, I... I I, I'm really happy for for uh, everybody in Avalanche that is making this game because this means that they will be making Disney Infinity 2 and 3 and 4 and Marvel Infinity and um, Star Wars Infinity and all those other great things that I'm sure that are sure to come out um, really good for people that are fans of that game. Um, and on an interesting side note, the game, the Wii version of Disney Infinity was finally patched. So when the game came out, on the back of the box, it showed a uh, pro controller and the classic controller um, as supported peripherals for the game. Well, it only shipped with support for the gamepad and the Wiimote nunchuck. So if you wanted to play multiplayer, everybody else that played, um, the one person, uh, would have to use a Wiimote nunchuck. Not the best way to control a game where there's 3D movement and stuff like that. Um, So it was promised, or actually it was said that the box was a printing error. And they've apologized for it. And then the day later, they said, we will, we're will. we working on adding support. So fast forward like two months later, and they finally patched it in. Works great. Um, it, it was basically released the, the day of my Extra Life Marathon. So that was really useful. Played, played with that that day. Um, and, and that patch also asked, added two other things. They added the, um, Disney or the, uh, Tron identity disc as a weapon. So in a lot of the videos, they showed someone throwing the, the Tron disc as a weapon, but it wasn't in the game. Um, so I guess that was a bug. They patched it into all the other consoles like three weeks ago, finally just patched it into the Wii U. So uh, we can do that. And they also added the ability finally to share screenshots in Miiverse. So for the longest time, a game that it is supposed to have infinite possibilities and endless creativity po- uh, possibilities and you're supposed to share these great creations with your friends and family the game actually has no way to share any of your toy boxes with anybody else you can upload it to disney and then they might get released at one point by disney but there's no way for me to say hey steven check out this awesome toy box i did it's themed like uh the sandlot here you go give it to you you can't there's no way to do it and they even went so far as to not have uh, they have they have a Miiverse channel, but there's no way to save a screenshot. So you couldn't even show anybody through the built-in tools all this great stuff that you built. It was just ridiculous. Um, so they finally patched that in as well. Um, so if you go to the Miiverse um, channel for Disney Infinity, you can now see screenshots, which should have been there um, from day one. But I guess it's another case of protecting the children. You did, they didn't want you to make a phallic object out of blocks and towers and then post a screenshot and put it on Miiverse, even though Miiverse is moderated and this could have been taken down in no time but um i i guess score one for us maybe um it, it took them <laughs> far too long to get this done though yeah so i don't know do you, do you have any interest in disney infinity or do you kind of zone out when i talk about it well i i listen but uh i don't have any interest in the game it's really good i think you'd like it steven playing with your daughter i think you guys would dig it Cause oh, maybe because you, you like disney stuff uh some of it yeah some yeah it. yeah i think it'd be good i think it'd be good anyway um that's gonna do it for the show a little bit shorter than i i would have thought since we missed a couple weeks but um anything to to add before we close out for the week steven no i don't have anything else to, to tack on to this cool um I really like that piranha plant song do you want to do you want to go out with the piranha plant song is that let's what you're, do it let's is, do that, is yeah. that what you're doing Okay, oh yeah, well, roll. Let roll me it. let me cue it up. We'll do it. So, um, ooh, oh, ooh. I don't want to start it right now because I gotta gotta say my stuff. Um, we love you guys. We love that you subscribe to the show. Uh, let us know what you think. Head on over to vgpodcast.com and uh, click contact us. Email us directly at vgpodcast at gmail Call our voicemail line, which is five zero five VG Podcasts, or better yet. 
tell two friends about the show and have them subscribe and then share the joy that is Nintendo Pulse. We'd love it if you could tell some friends and get some more people downloading and interacting with the show. Uh, please do that. Follow us on Twitter. I'm at Dazme. Stephen is at Stephen J. Munn. Um, and until next week, what does the piranha plant stay, say, Stephen? Really? Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy. We'll talk to you in a week's time. Flower girl.